So I've got an LS3 block that my friend Luke brought me. He got it from a wrecking yard. Uh, this was a core. Unfortunately, with cores, some things kind of get screwed up and you won't notice until you notice. Uh, there's a stripped out core plug on the side of the block. Unfortunately, that's not repairable without some uh, machine shop intervention. So we're lucky that this core plug is parallel to the passenger side bank. So all we need to do is get it mounted up in my milling machine. Uh, we're gonna mount it directly to the deck and then that'll set us up to where we can uh, thread this for a larger core plug and get this thing fixed. Apparently these LS3 blocks are worth quite a bit of money. I'm glad it's aluminum. Yeah, it makes sense. Oh. All right. So now we need to roll the thing. Stay sharp. You think I should empty the oil out first? Yeah. Yeah, please. <laughs> <It's too hard. laughs> All right. Uh, so we are going to have to modify that tap just a touch. All right, that's going to be fun. Is there a better hole? Are you looking to shorten the strap? I'm looking to shorten the strap. All right, what's the worst that happen? We drop a $7,000 block. Eureka! How far down did I thread that? I'm going to put that back down. Probably would help to thread that thing down all the way into its hole. Seventeen. <laughs> um, no, I've got a Mexican socket set. Ooh, yeah. one size fits all. Yeah, one size fits all. Same way I like my women, and demonetized. All right. Well, if it falls, at least I'll have a nice soft landing onto the deck. Right on the concrete. Yeah. Yeah, if you've got a Harbor Freight engine hoist, this belongs to my neighbor Pete, and I know Pete is gonna watch this. Uh, one day you're gonna find a bunch of ball bearings on your shop floor, and you'll uh, be lifting something terribly heavy, only to realize that your engine hoist no longer has a wheel. And if you're wondering what's a good upgrade, for Harbor Freight wheels, uh, nylon four inch wheels from the homeless desk spot is a good choice. We're currently trying to maneuver around a tripod. All these great things that we do for you, YouTube. You're the luckiest audience in the world. Austin's called Austin Powers it. <laughs> All right, so we need to go up quite a bit. <laughs> All right. Go ahead and bring her down. I'm good at doing that. Yeah. It's going to require quite a bit of carefuling, though. Oh, boy. I can't see anything. Just commit. Me either. Yeah, just go all the way down. <laughs> okay. I don't like this. <laughs> it's perfect. Perfect. Oh my god. Like we're qualified. Holy smokes. Okay. All right. Uh, we'll just put that. That's inappropriate. I can't put that in there. <laughs> That's automatically demonetized. <laughs> Uh, that's not the type of content we're making. <laughs> so what's inside of this thing, Luke? Uh, we got stock crankshaft, stock rods, stock pistons. Sounds like someone's going to throw a bunch of boost at it will we yeah, nilly and blow it up. You're going to yeah. lift a ring land off. <laughs> well, I know, and the Molly ring packs come with like 0 0.016 of ring jack and I don't really change it much. Yeah, nice. But I don't care if he blows it up, I get to fix it again. Good for them. I know. All right, so we got this thing sealed up pretty well. I'm debating on rotating it. Uh, this will be pretty easy to clamp down. It doesn't matter if it's square, honestly. We're 
cutting one hole. All right, the pan can stay on it. This is, yeah, this is gonna be just fine. Wow. Okay, so that's the setup. I'm gonna come in with a boring bar. I'm gonna open this hole up. Uh, depth is a concern. Uh, there's a cylinder right in the way, so I might have to modify our hand tap, uh, which is a starting tap into a bottoming tap to get those last few threads. But we'll cross that bridge when the time comes. Everything is nice and parallel. We're referencing off of the passenger side deck and I know everything in the machine is nice and square. We'll just plunge that to whatever diameter it needs to go to. Uh, Honestly, I probably don't even need to clamp the whole block down, but we'll just put some toe clamps right there and right there, and it's going to be very secure. This is a PG-13 channel, Lucas. Since the metas of the world decided that they could make money off of me, they decided to re-monetize me, but I was definitely banned for at least eight months. A little toe clamp action. Perfect. Click. 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 That's pretty secure. <sighs> oh, nope, it's over torque now. You're not supposed to double check your torque. That's a real thing. Just like they say, don't uh, check your can bearings. Don't check your can bearings. What yeah. is this all Whatever about? Whatever you do, don't check your can bearings. Why? Because all LSs have bad can bearings? Well, if you look at it, then that means it's automatically be bad. Right? <laughs> if you don't look at it, it's good. <laughs> so, I'm hoping that I don't have to push the head of my mill backwards. And I think I'm gonna have to. Just a touch. Yep. Oh dear. Hopefully we don't run into the wall. Shovel back. Perfect. Okay. <clears throat> I've got the head of the mill pushed backwards just a touch. So the tap is a M33 by two. Mr. Google says that we should use a 31 millimeter drill bit or bore. The nice thing about metric is to determine the tap drill size is it's uh, two sizes under whatever you're trying to tap. So that makes sense. 31 millimeter, what a weird size. Uh, so do 31 divided by 25.4. That is 1.22 and change. Oh, I see how it's going to work. How interesting. Okay, so I'm set up on the core plug boss. I'm going to offset the hole over just slightly so that we can preserve some of this flat. We're currently at one inch. 120 and then when we have to go to one inch 220 and then we can run our tap through to bring this up to 33 millimeter there's a cylinder right behind here so i've got the quill stop set to where i'm just 15 thousandths shy of hitting the back of the cylinder number one it's gonna work out just fine all right so we've got it offset 30. Let's bring this cutter out 30. It should only just leave a little shadow right here. Oops, it's backwards. Don't go that way. This oil pan is a real inconvenience.
If you hear a loud bang, that means I messed up. <laughs> don't get your drawstrings caught in there. <laughs> don't get your hair stuck in there. Yeah, you're not supposed to wear hoodies. sweatshirts or hoodies with drawstrings hanging off the back of them. I'm calling OSHA. I'm calling OSHA. All right, so we're going to go another 30 thousandths. So we've removed 60 from here. Oh, spun it backwards again. Josh, I've been going backwards my whole life. <laughs> We're almost there. Got another 40 thousandths to go before it final. It's not going to clean up the backside here until we get close to final, but hopefully I don't leave too much of a shadow. It'll be all right. Well, we just cleaned it up. One more pass and it'll be a nice clean hole. My favorite. This will be the last pass. I'm gonna use the quill feed for this. So I've got it in gear and I'll just pull this lever and it's gonna automatically feed the quill down for me. A little sticky, I'll have to work on that. All right. 217. There's a quick 2000s pass. Kind of hard to see what we got, what we're doing here. Let me just mark that real fast. Just kidding. <laughs> I'm joking. I would never do that. You'd be surprised how many people I've met uh, who have willingly shove their hands into running machines. Come on. Come disengage. There you go. And predictably enough, sticking your hands into a live tool isn't exactly the best idea in the world. <laughs> All right, let's see. I'm hoping for uh, one inch 219, one inch 220. It's not really that big of a deal. Yeah, I think we can let a thou go. The calipers are only as accurate as I feel that day. So let's flip this tool around. We'll put a quick chamfer on the top of this hole and we'll get it tapped. <laughs> Now we've got a nice fat chamfer in there. I'm tempted to go just a touch larger. So we'll lose some of that with the tapping and then that'll give us some room to put an O-ring or some sealer. Okay. And we can drop the table down and determine what we need to do to get this hole tapped. Can't say I've ever done this before, but we'll figure it out. Wouldn't it be funny if we dropped the tap in there and just fell in? <laughs> <laughs> all the way in, all the way down? Yeah, all the way down. Oh, did I remember to zero the calipers? <laughs> Let's see. Nope, oh, nope, oh, almost like we Measured twice. I think we're gonna make it on depth. I don't wanna to touch the bottom of that cylinder. So I'm a little 
little concerned in that sense. If we just touch it lightly, it's not going to hurt anything. I just want to make a habit of pushing on it. This thing is nice and dinged up. Thanks, China. Ooh, that's scary. <laughs> I gotta say, I feel like a little bit of a wuss here. Let's see if that's spinning true. No way. I don't like this. <laughs> this is scary. <laughs> All right. I think the move is to touch off on it and start the tap and then finish it out by hand. <laughs> I'm so scared. <laughs> the, the best thing, the worst thing that could happen is that I auger this whole thing out. <sighs> Why did I get myself into this? <laughs> Yeah, sure, I'll do it. <laughs> yeah, sure. It's not going to be a big deal. Two What's the worst later. that can happen? What's the worst that can happen is I ruin a... What are these things worth? Like a core is like 3500 bucks. LS3s. Very high demand. They're very much in demand. Yeah, they're light and they make power. Yeah, they make good power until you split a sleeve in half. Yeah. But I'm about to split a sleeve in half on the bench. Ooh. And send her home. Okay. That happened fast. Oh. Some threads. Yay. Am I a wuss for wanting to finish this out by hand? I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't see why it would help. Well, I just don't want to hit the bottom of that cylinder. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> mm. But it's funny, I came back in and added all that extra uh, chamfer and it's all gone now the keyboard mechanics are gonna go i would have done that by hand and eyeballed the whole thing or i would have just run that quill down until it tapped the whole hole remember it's a blind hole and uh, a sleeved ls3 block is kind of a it's a thing it's an expensive thing let's just test fit our plug real fast <laughs> <laughs> let's start there all right, this is gonna go all right. That feels good. Wow. Huh. I think this is gonna be a touch too long. Uh -huh. We might need to get that crush washer. Uh huh. But we'll see. Nope, that's backwards. Don't do that. Okay, we're stopping there. We're going to hand tap the rest. All right. If I could start this tap, then we'd be set. That was another reason why I didn't want to do this by hand. No. <laughs> You know, with two horsepower driving this tap and a nice rigid setup, it kind of worked just fine. But I could not imagine doing this by hand, and this is a hand tap. I'm gonna have to be quite conscious of the bottom of that bore, so if you could find my flashlight, which is right next to me. Don't worry, just stand there and look pretty. Actually, you do the thing. You hold the flashlight, just hold it like somewhere, somewhere over there. You're holding it wrong. <laughs> God damn it. 
Ugh. Remind me of my dad. <laughs> Except yeah. he used to beat me over the head with it. <laughs> That's a pretty common story. Ugh. That is a somewhat large tap. Nice. We reached the bottom, almost. Now this is an assembled short block, so I'm trying to be conscious of the chips. Oh man. I think I'm just gonna run it down until it touches that cylinder. I don't think I'm gonna cause any damage going carefully by hand. This is about an average size, wouldn't you say? Yeah, it's about average. That's about average. A little to the left. <laughs> I got fired from flashlight duty. No, we just need to be very careful here. We're about to hit that cylinder. Okay, we're bottomed out. Oh, okay. Bravo. Yeah, made it look easy. Don't worry, I was suffering from <laughs> crippling anxiety <laughs> the entire time. He's just worried about the sleeve the whole time. Yeah, I am worried. Whoa, about the and it's all the way down. No way. Don't even need a crush washer. I mean, maybe we should for sealing. But... We should get a crush washer, but that's a repair. Sheesh. Like a shadow? Yeah. Look at that. That is full thread depth. Amazing. We're so lucky. Oh, see that black ARP loop gets all over you. I should try not to touch my face. I'm getting in trouble. And demonetized. <laughs> so those threads look pretty good for a hand tap. We're gonna go without adding more chamfer. I'd say it's got plenty of chamfer. I'd rather preserve this sealing edge at this point. That's done. It's like a barber. Yeah, air blast, so just send chips everywhere and you don't know where they're gonna go. So if you don't have to blow air, don't do it. Not always the greatest idea. Okay, should be able to just rotate this. Oh. Don't drop it. <laughs> drop it. Don't drop it. <laughs> here, we'll leave that here just so the YouTube crowd can see what we're doing. That is definitely an assembled block. How'd you get in there? Some chips ended up in the cylinder. That's always, always the best. Well, I think it just got in there from the, uh, you know, when you pull the tape. <laughs> yeah, probably. So we'll just put some tape across the lifter trays and we'll blow this all off. All right. Hey, can you put in half inch head studs now? Uh, For my stock head bolts. You can actually put half inch head studs in this. It's a little bit different of a setup, but we can. 
Yeah, Tick Performance sells the whole uh, jig setup. Yeah, you can buy the whole setup or you can do it by hand. Sure. I can't imagine that it gets them in super straight, but it obviously works. Plenty of people do it. This would be a perfect time for me to drop the block now that it's finished. <laughs> It'd be a perfect time to take out that pilot bearing. Shove some bread down into there. <laughs> Have you ever felt more in the way? <laughs> I'd be like, oh, you didn't hold <laughs> That's no, why. You, I, usually I have other people watching me work and I'm like. That's oh, why sorry. I haven't graduated from the two car garage because I like making people feel uncomfortable. <laughs> You're like, uh, jump around. I can dance. <laughs> it's like I like to provoke people for a living. <laughs> that looks yeah. quite good. I'm thrilled. Nice. Oh, I'm glad that was drama free. Yeah. Well, you can get this thing out of your hair. Yeah. It'll be done in a day. It's, it's, it's good to know good machinists as friends because you can mess up a lot of things and, and still. <laughs> That's a bad reason. <laughs> <laughs> and still like, okay, it's okay. Josh can fix that. That's not a great reason. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you used to be able to uh, buy the bear blocks off Summit. Yeah. For like sixteen hundred dollars, and then they went up to twenty five hundred dollars, and now they're just you can't you can't even get them. You have to yeah. buy, you got to buy pallets of cores. Is what I do. I think people also need to admit that there are no more good and cheap LS blocks anymore. Yeah, the aluminum <laughs> blocks are uh, the good ones are hard to find. No, they're hot usually garbage. Yeah. that's what they are. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Everyone. you find the, the ones with drop valves, crack sleeves, smoked main. Ones that have been aligned home three times before. Yeah. And are no longer repairable. Please, please stop dinging my table. All right. Perfect. Shiny! What was that? Oh, just, it was the chain. It uh, was it's twisted. Bound up. Yeah. Well, I need new pants. I don't care. I know it'll seal. Nice. All right, let's find a cart for this. I'm sure you're watching this, but sh shout out to Brooks over there for hooking this up with that nice heater. At least my family won't freeze while I'm out here suffering. Send it home. Perfect. Luke's gonna pick this thing up in the morning. Get it finished assembled. It's been a journey. It's been a journey. But that's a repair. Yeah. I'll see you next time. This week's episode of Engine Rehab. <laughs>